We are uh, working on deriving equations uh, relating acceleration, velocity, time, and, uh, and position or displacement. And this is going to be equation number three. And this is going to be called position, or help us to find position as a function of time. As function of time. So this relates uh, x components and uh, and t, our delta t. Oops, I should erase that right there. That was a stray mark. So it's going to be involve our x and our delta t. Well, one thing we need to establish right off the bat is what we looked at in equation number two, finding average velocity. We said that average velocity is really the two velocities vf plus vi divided by two, or what we said was times a half. One half times vf plus vi. Finding the average of any two numbers is when you add them together and then you divide by two. This is the same thing right here. But we established this in the last problem. And this is going to be helpful because it's going to allow us to substitute um, one thing in for another, which I'll show you in just a minute. We'll also remember that uh, average velocity, the average, is the same thing as a change in displacement, delta x, over delta t. So that means that this right here, all this, can be put in right there as, um, as, as v average, as the average velocity. So let's rewrite this with this, now so the uh, the bracketed green substituted in for average velocity. One half VF plus VI is equal to change in X, oops, delta X, over delta T. We can kind of uh, expand this a little bit further by saying, oh, I should probably move this up a little bit. One half times VF plus VI equals X final minus X initial. That means our um, our final displacement point minus our initial displacement point over delta T. If we bring the delta T up, if we multiply both sides by delta T, that means it'll come up next to the uh, it'll come up to the left, so we're going to have one half vf minus oh I'm sorry plus vi times delta t equals x final or displacement final minus displacement initial. And finally, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving for the final displacement. We're simply going to add the initial position to both sides and it will come over to the left. So I'm going to write it with the x final first, our, our, our displacement position first. x final is is one half vf plus vi times delta t plus our initial displacement plus xi. This is equation three, deriving equations for acceleration, velocity, position, and time.